It's amazing how yeah. many expired items get left in the fridge. Is this expired? Oh, dear. You go and look at the expiration date on your salad dressings, and you're like, oh my god, have I been eating this? Hi, I'm Joanna from The Home Edit. And I'm Clea from The Home Edit. And we are have a new show on Netflix. It's a system. It's a system. The yeah. result is going to be so rewarding. And we are here to give Cosmo some of our favorite tips and, and tricks. Tips and tricks. That we use in celebrity and otherwise. I don't know. <laughs> to do it. And we are here with Cosmo to give all of you tips on how to get your spaces organized as our celebrity clients. I would say twofold in terms of just the actual quantity of stuff. It, again, not messy at all, but like Rachel Zoe has just a ton of stuff. Wait, are there things under here? Maybe. Yeah, oh my God. God, there are boots all down here. Oh man. Okay. I gotta use every inch no, here, you, you know do, what I'm you saying? Do. And also, uh, Neil Patrick Harris and David Burka, I mean, they have twins and they have a playroom and it's not just twins, it's a boy and a girl. So there's a lot of competing stuff. It's just, again, it's, it's just quantity. Yeah. I, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say this, but when he gets uh, stressed and it's late at night, he'll just go online and buy a whole bunch of stuff. No, I won't. <laughs> like all the food pillows. I think they're fun, <laughs> but what we wind up with is there's 45 food pillows. Oh my God, David, did you get the onion rings one? Yes! Uh, I'm just oh saying that God. there's a lot, right? It's like a big multicolored unicorn jumped in there and took a dump. I wouldn't say weird, but I would say um, the stuffed bruiser doll oh, from yes. Legally Blonde. Yeah. It's bruiser! <laughs> oh my God. I fully did not know that was bruiser. Bruiser has his own costume too. Oh, it's the hat. It's, it's the, the hat. hat. Wait, Reese, put it on. Magic. Okay, come in woods. You look just like her. I, well, yes. <laughs> Getting to hang out with a stuffed bruiser was like bruiser woods. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I would. That's a good one. Yeah. You really want to section out your fridge. Um, you know, think of it like just a pantry with shelving. You know, just cold. I don't even need to eat anything. I'm no. just gonna like stare at I know. it like longingly. I know. Like, <laughs> you have zones in the yes. refrigerator, especially if they're roommates. It's probably helpful to have your own bins that are of your foods, or if, if you share foods, yes. at least still have zones. I remember having roommates. I mean, we got in quite a few fights over uh, eating food. Another thing you really want to do, especially with roommates, it's kind of like having an office fridge where you have to clean it out at a regular time, like once a month, whatever it may be. It's amazing how many yeah. expired items get left in the fridge. Someone once said we could not throw out their expired oil. It happened. It happens. It happens. But yes, we have opened up many food items that have turned yeah. blue started sprouting things, yeah. growing things. Is this expired? Oh. oh dear. I think that a lot of people assume that their fridge and their pantries, you know, whatever it is, I think a lot of people assume that it's very current. And then you go and look at the expiration date on your salad dressings and you're like, oh my God, have I been eating this? Clea, how's the fridge going? Terribly. Thank you for asking. One of the things that we find most commonly asked is, what do I do with cereal, for instance, when I get home from the grocery store? Do I put it in a canister or do I put it in a bin? And I think that the answer for that is really, do you want to spend the time to maintain a canister by pouring right. it out? People yeah. get stressed by it and I'm like, what is more relaxing than pouring cereal into a canister? Or would you rather just take the box and put it in, in a bin? Both yeah. are organized. Both just are organized. One is more high maintenance than the other and yes. that's just a preference thing. If you're really living by the seat of your pants, you can <laughs> use concealed baskets, but those can very often turn into a graveyard. So if you're unsure about your own abilities, yeah. we recommend clear storage because it holds you accountable. Um, it lets you see what you have. It lets you see what you're getting low on. Right. Um, and there's no hiding right. in clear storage. That's right. Oh my God, we need another bin. We've it's, seen some good closets. We've seen some very amazing closets. Um, yes. Rachel Zoe's closet is obviously one for the top of the books. I mean, it's a museum. This was like Paris, Capri, 
And I just came back and... Oh my God, But these the are like vintage Valentino. <laughs> sure, like, right, right. I mean, I, don't you have that too? Yeah. yeah. I have my Paris Capri rack. Well, <laughs> we all do. And I would say a, a tip just for everybody that can do it at home is just to have uniformity with hangers. It doesn't even have to be a top of the line expensive nope. hanger. As long as it's consistent, nothing draws the eye away from like when you have a random blue hanger that's like sticking out, you know, in, in the sea of hangers. You just want it to be matching. Having that consistency is so, so, so important. Right. And it just elevates the space so much. This is amazing. It depends on the person and the space that they have. I mean, if they have mostly like hanging space and they need they need to put those things somewhere, then, then that might work for them. A yeah. lot of people have issues with folding. Yeah, there's no rules. I hang my t-shirts, I hang my uh, sports bras. Right. Yes. I mean, <laughs> that's impressive. It's whatever you're gonna maintain. Yes, 100%. That's always the right answer, is pick the system that you're gonna be able to upkeep. That's right. When it comes to editing out accessories and shoes, handbags, things like that, I tend to be a little bit more understanding than Joanna in this one yeah. area of the home. Take her. Okay, take her. Obviously, I'm not oh, going to ask you. She's brand new. Yeah, of course. She's right. like a month old. <laughs> I love how they're she. Yeah. That's part of the process is to take things out and, and hold them and say, okay, is this worth putting back in? So that you can make that choice to actively put something back versus just passively leave something on the shelf. Any of the bags that you're wanting to relocate, starting to sweat. <laughs> Are you having a yes day? Yeah. No. Like Ra Rachel is a tough person to have part with her. I mean, these these are her children before she had children. Yes. So, you know, her handbags, her shoes. I mean, yeah. I mean, and they are amazing. They are amazing. So it's, it's kind of challenging to talk her into getting rid of anything, especially because we're like, I don't know, it's really good. I don't yeah. know if she should get rid of it. It's kind of excellent. Yeah. Is there anything that you see that you're like, I don't like it, I don't use it, I don't need it? There might be I don't use, but you still love it. But I'm not ever parting with it. We love a good backstock. Oh yes, backstock refers to anything extra that you store in your home. So it can be extra set of sheets, it can be cleaning supplies, it can be anything. But it allows you to have a space to store things that are not in front and center where you need that real estate. We have been working with this concept for a long time, and often to the ridicule, I will say, until six months ago when people realized. <laughs> that there was no toilet paper left on shelves and no rice or beans either. It doesn't need to be that you need to hoard no. items, but it's just like a little bit of extra or you accidentally overshopped and you need a place to put those items. But to have some extras on hand is generally a good idea. I don't think, I think probably gone are the days that we're all gonna get down to the very last of anything and assume that we're just gonna be able to buy it again. Thinking about where to store them, especially if you have an apartment, you really wanna try and take advantage of like upper shelves, the top of cabinets, Things that you don't need to Over the door is a good one too. Yeah, you can add an over the door hanger. So it doesn't need to be in your highest use real estate. It can literally be at the very top of a coat closet or at the top of a kitchen mm -hmm. cabinet. It's, you know, it's, it can really be out of sight, out of mind until you actually need it. And then you'll be glad to have it. I wanna be the Calabasas Costco. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And we're so, ex sorry, let me do it again. Thank you so much for watching and to, don't for, I can't, I'm, I'm losing All right, just quickly. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to Cosmo and to tune into our new show on Netflix, Get Organized with the Home Edit. That was fantastic. Thank you, guys. That's your wrap. Thank you.